make sure you subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and that means you'll get alerts every time we post a new video. If you love dinosaurs, you're in the right place. Hey, Dino fans, how are you doing? It's Ranger Chris and... Ranger Andy. How are you doing? So, guys, we are here in the jungle because today we're going to be teaching you guys about what dinosaurs like to eat, especially the herbivores. Let's go! Right then guys, we're here in the carnivorous plant section. The killer plants. But what are carnivorous plants? Let's go and see one. This one here is a bell pitcher. And can you see that there? It looks like a leaf. That's actually the stem. These are the leaves. And what they do is they catch water in the bottom so bugs and insects crawl in, drown, and then it just fills it with enzymes. So it's basically like the inside of a stomach. It's gross. Ugh. Killer plants. Right, check out these. Now these plants here are from a country called Venezuela. And can you see how they can possibly catch water inside those funnel-like um, leaves? Are they leaves? Yeah. Yeah, so they're like funnel-like leaves. Um, now, connection with dinosaurs and these insectivore plants, because um, that's what they like to eat, is that the film, The Lost World, which was about dinosaurs and including the Allosaurus, was actually set in Venezuela. That's where these amazing plants were from. These plants would fill up the water and the little insects would actually drown inside those funnels. And then those plants would feed on those dead bugs. Ugh! Now, there is thoughts that these would get so big they could actually catch a rat. Catch a rat. Yeah. And that rat would decompose inside that funnel and die! <laughs> Check that out, Ranger Andy. Yeah. Enter the fly trap. Oh no. Oh, now, well, it's this, always me in this now. It's always you. You're always hiding, that's right. Then, on it, on it, I'm in. So, that is a huge Venus fly trap. Now, obviously, that's not real. And for all of the mums and dads out there, you'll know that Venus fly trap as Audrey the Second from Little Shop of Horrors. But, guys, actually, a Venus fly trap is a carnivorous plant. And Ranger Andy's going to pretend to be a fly. Well, like a good, good fly impression. A fly. Yeah. Go. Or was that as soon as it touches those sides, little hairs that would slam shut, and you wouldn't be able to get out, mate. I already can't get out. I know, but that was just lockdown. But guys, honestly, this is what a Venus flytrap um, would look like—a lot smaller, obviously—and um, it would catch flies. In fact, I know a few kids who've got them um, in their house, which is pretty cool. Let me just zoom out so you can have a good look. Dinosaurs are cool, right? But they have to eat. We know that. And herbivores only eat plants. Now there are loads of herbivores, uh, but some of the most famous ones are the Brachiosaurus, can reach up tall. But here's a cool fact for you. Did you know that dinosaurs didn't really eat grass? Now some did, but grass didn't come around until really late at the end of the Cretaceous period. So things like Brachiosaurus, they wouldn't have fed on grass. But come and have a little look at this, guys. Come closer. Here, we have a plant that's called a cycad. And cycads have been around on the planet for 280 million years. <laughs> that's even longer than the dinosaur age. So they were around before dinosaurs and they're still on the planet now. Here's one um, here in Plantasia in Swansea. And this goes to show um, the type of food that dinosaurs like to eat. In fact, they are super spiky, okay? And they've got spikes all the way along. So they're quite hard to touch. So when they ate them, um, they would have been a bit of a mouthful. We hope you enjoyed um, learning about what dinosaurs like to eat. Not only did they eat those cycads that we looked at, they also would have ate a lot of other um, trees and plants. So including in these, we know there was monkey puzzle trees. We know there was ferns. We also know there was conifers and pines. Um, so there's so much they like to eat, and lots of these are still around today. Isn't that amazing? 
make sure you subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and that means you'll get alerts every time we post a new video. If you love dinosaurs, you're in the right place.